Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you some more cool things related to the Seaborn library. So the data that we have, if you are following my previous videos related to the Seaborn, this is the data set that we have imported using the pandas. And we created a couple of amazing plots, which are relational plot. So in relational plot, one of the thing is, uh, you know, dividing the plots using the facets. So this is something where suppose you have created plot of sales versus profit, but you want to look at for each product category or each, you know, order priority or maybe uh, for each region, each customer segment. So things like that, so that you can better understand how the data is distributed there. So to do that, what we can do is we have already imported the Seaborn library and give it an alias as SNS. So I'm directly using alias SNS rel plot. And uh, what we have is basically sales field and profit field. If you can see over here, sales and profit. And uh, then what we have earlier done is uh, using the data, which is uh, sales. We have created this plot like this and now let's say I want this plot for each customer segment right like three different plots so the feature is pretty easy call equals to and give it a name which is customer segment so this way you will see that uh, you will have the four different charts which you can analyze individually. So one chart is for small business, consumer, corporate, and home office allows you to look at the data individually. But suppose you want two charts basically uh, so that it is a bit expanded. So what you can do is uh, you can have a parameter which is like called wrap equals to two. So this way it is like two by two metric. Uh, and looks much more beautiful than the previous chart. So using the parameter which is call underscore wrap gives you this flexibility and this way your analysis become much easier. You can compare you know these four charts much easier and drive the observations out of it. All right so once we have this um, I'll just copy this and uh, paste it here and uh, then let's say along with this you want some more information like uh, order priority for example to be color coded over here so what you can do is use the hue as a parameter and say order priority this way you will have the order priority highlighted for each chart so if i just go ahead and execute that you will see the chart is much more beautiful and the order priority is highlighted. Similarly, you can see the effect of ship mode. For example, if uh, you are from the shipping uh, department and want to understand the impact of ship mode on the various types of uh, products that you are selling. So this is the effect of ship mode where orange color seems to be highly dominating in this case which is a delivery truck followed by regular air and then the express air. Also, it gives the information whether in high value orders, uh, what sort of uh, shipping mode is getting used and uh, things like that. Apart from this, if you want to make the analysis a little bit more complex. So for example, we have the customer segment over here and these are all the customer segment, but we also want to see it uh, cross action by the product category then what we can do is let me just copy this and over here and i will just remove this call wrap and over here i will specify the opposite of column which is row equals to product category and let's see the impact of this now the chart is being created as you can see it has taken some time but this is now the chart for each product category and each product segment. So like products category is office supplies. Let me expand it a little bit so that you can clearly see it. 
maybe furthermore yeah so customer segment um, let me just squeeze it yeah so I hope this is visible but what it is written over here is the customer segment the product category office supplies and the customer segment small business so for each product category and each customer segment a chart has been created for the different types of shipping mode so this allows you to go really really in depth into the data and if you look at it over here furniture and corporate it is heavily influenced by the delivery truck which makes sense also in this case and uh, over here if you see uh, the regular air is uh, seems to be in line along uh, in comparison with the delivery truck where you know regular air and delivery truck both are being used and the product is basically the technology and over here this to me it seems like uh, regular air and express air is taking the one the uh, you know and the advantage or or uh, increment in as compared to the delivery truck because again the product categories of supplies and customer segment is small business so based on this analysis you know you can uh, you can come up with your strategies about uh, or you can better understand which ship mode is being used by which type of product category and customer segment to to better align uh, and better to improve your uh, shipping uh, related activities so that's about uh, how you can uh, take an advantage of the different uh, parameters like the column row and hue uh, into the seaborn and go really down in depth into the data and figure out figure it out some hidden pattern which is sometimes not clearly visible when you look at the uh, higher level graph so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic